Oops, 1275 in here. And I've got a package from my friend William Silva here. And uh, he's got a guitar he'd like me to go ahead and fabric top for him. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay. So it's a 25th, uh, sorry, it's a 20th anniversary Squire body. And um, I've got one like it myself. And this is going to be a lot of fun to do. This is a really special guitar to William. And uh, he can probably tell you the story about it later. But uh, it is special to him. And we're going to wrap it. And this is the fabric that he sent. And I'm telling you, the clear is going to absolutely love this fabric. Well, something for me that William sent in the package. So I've really excited about seeing this because I have been eyeing out this neck for quite a while. William and I have talked about it before in the past. And he sent it to me. And so we have a reverse headstock warmth neck. And it is absolutely beautiful if you look. If I turn it there, you can see the flame just running through it. And so, thank you so much, William. All right, so here we have um, William De Silva's Stratocaster, and we've glued down the top, and you can see this it is just a wonderful pattern. It is going to be well loved by the clear and just for a little extra picture of it roughly like that okay so i have the glue spread on the bottom and I'm going to start by just finishing this corner as it started. We pull that there. And so what I'm doing is I'm pulling, and checking for any wrinkles as we go. Okay, so. Okay, we'll come back. Okay, so we've got our top folded back so we can apply um, our horn fabric. And that's just because the way the body falls, you can't get it on there, right? So you have to you do it this way. And we've put we've glued it on and we've put our base poly on it to stiffen it up so we can trim it properly. And as always, we're just gonna shake our time. And your body be the guide.
going to begin trimming off the excess fabric here so that we can glue on our back and then finish up getting the base poly on here and then get moving into uh, spraying clear. All right, so we're getting ready to glue the fabric on the back of William's guitar. And we're going to match this pattern right here to what's on the back of the guitar right here. And so you can see what that looks like. Like that. And so I'll show you, and that's going to kind of help the pattern of the whole thing match up. And so you can see how well we did. Again, so here's our match right here. And then with that flapping, you can see how well that matches. Now we'll cut this a little shorter so we get a nice straight line and it'll kind of hide. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this again because once the base poly went down, there were a couple things that happened. There was a little lifting here at the horns, and it would have felt really funky. There was some bubbling that happened over here on this part of the horn. Um, the patch, the patches for where you split the fabric were a little bit rougher than I wanted them to be, and I didn't like the way that the base poly went down. And um, so we're going to go ahead and do this one again and make sure it's right for our friend. So we've just finished spraying our um, second three coats of 2K Clear. And you can tell that this is just going to be a beautiful guitar. So let's go check out the back. And here is our back. And it is looking very nice indeed. Of course, we'll have some things straighten out once it dries. We'll have to do, uh, we'll have a little orange peel that we'll need to wet sand out. But I think this is going to be a much easier buff and polish than I originally thought it might be. So that's good. All right, so here we are with William's purple telegaster. It is all done. Just soldered in the uh, output check and the trim claw. And so we're just going to test to make sure everything works. Good. 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 
All right, so everything works out fine. And we'll take it back over to the table and do a little bit more. All right, so here's the back of William's purple Stratocaster. And it is all ready to go. If we come in closer, we can see that we did put a tribute image in there. And I'll let William talk about that if he wants to later. And, of course, our Charles 75N fabric top body is up there behind the trim claw as well. But we're going to go ahead and put back on the uh, cover at his request. And there we are, all done. And it is ready to be packaged up and shipped out. So that's our back. And it is looking really good. I'm really proud of this one. There you have it, William's purple and white strat. I think it looks great. William is enjoying it so far. He has shot a reaction video to it, and once he gets it uploaded to YouTube, I will put a link in the description. As always, enjoy your guitar journey, and thank you for becoming part of mine.